All right, gang, here we are at European Motors in Cedar Rapids, and we've got a treat today. We've got a uh, 2011 1M. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with these, you know this is a very limited production vehicle. I think they only shipped 700 of these to the States uh, in 2011, uh, which is also the only year of production, I believe. Well, this is kind of a modern uh, collector car if you will this is Valencia orange this is a 39,000 mile car it's got a, some neat uh, tasteful upgrades that we'll get into just kind of give you a walk around hopefully it's not too windy gang got a little bit of a breeze today so hopefully the audio is okay so just forgive us good set of continental tires on this car this car does have uh, I'll do a walk around of all the wheels for you guys. But it's got the floating uh, six piston Brembo brake kit on this vehicle. Uh, I think those are about five grand. We've got clear bra all over the car. Right here, you can see the little wax line. Bumper has clear bra. I'll get right down here. Does have a front mount inter intercooler. What brand's the front mount intercooler? It's a HPE. HPE, Tommy says. Tommy's kind of our resident, uh, well, we're all BMW geeks here, but Tommy's the biggest geek of all. <laughs> He's got a uh, V8 six speed M3 sedan and has had uh, many E36s, including an M3 sedan E36. Front end's really clean. Again, you've got clear bra blanketing a, a large portion of the car. We do have a spot right here, though, that the clear bra did not protect, and it looks like a touched-up rock chip possibly there. Some more clear bra down here. Mirrors have clear bra. Of course, this is a slick top. And the Valencia orange is just gorgeous in person. Pictures do not do it justice. Let's get a close up of this wheel. Nothing jumps out at me as far as wheels. Uh, even has the Brembos in the rear. Got a nice little carbon fiber uh, lip spoiler here, or duck tail almost. Do have a uh, clear bra back here as well, and then a couple blemishes here on the bumper. There's a uh, impression left here by something, and there's a chip right there. So, what are these exhausts, Tommy? Uh, so, the mid pipe and the actual muffler is a CPE, um, and then it has high flow AR design cats, so it is a full turbo back exhaust. Very, very nice setup and really no expense spared. Yeah, somebody spent a lot of money on some tasteful upgrades, which is nice. Doesn't really detract from the car. The suspension is stock. Of course, with the uh, 1M, you get a limited slip, which uh, unfortunately BMW doesn't offer anymore except in the M cars. And for an old guy like me, it's not really. Uh, BMW if it doesn't have a limited slip so that's a really nice upgrade there's the rear left rear wheel what we're looking at and we'll do the left front wheel you want to pop the hood Tommy and we'll show them under the hood So we got the intakes here, obviously. It's got it's an AFE intake. And it also does have a JB4 tune, so there's no lights for the high flow cats. Yep, no check engine lights whatsoever. Uh, we do want to make you guys aware it does have high flow cats. That may or may not affect uh, your state in terms of emissions testing. We do not do emission testing in Iowa, thankfully. So us car geeks here 
don't have to deal with that but we want you guys to be aware that it does have high flow catalytic converters on it super clean under here So sorry about the beeping, we got a snap-on truck coming back here. So let's go take it for a drive. So we'll try and do some stuff in here so we don't have to listen to the snap-on guy. We got the orange stitching. And we got the Alicantara kind of trim on the dash. There is a mark here on the dash, really small. I noticed this just a little bit ago. Not sure what that's from, but there's a little mark there. It's a pretty easy thing to repair um, as far as uh, you know, the, the little leather repair guys that run around can fix that pretty easily. You'd never know it was there, but it is there and that's how we're selling it. So just be aware of that. Just gorgeous door panels here too. With the Alicantara. Harman Kardon uh, radio. So all the lights come on and then it clears. What's the odometer say, Tommy? 39,062 miles. So really low miles for, on a 2011, but like I say, this is kind of a enthusiast car. Modern collectible. I mean, I think these are gonna Look at what E30 M3 prices have done, even E36 M3, E36 prices in general. And uh, this car is along the same lines and really even more rare than any of those cars. Uh, just a great driver's car. And uh, for those of us car geeks out here that love these types of cars, you know that cars like this are few and far between in today's market. Just a delight to drive. We're going over a bridge there, so a little bumpy, but you know, doesn't bang or do anything weird. We still have the factory suspension on this car, of course. Lots of power. Car's warm so he can lean into it. There you got a little taste of the sound and they're on the binders real hard. No pulsations but we'll try and run down the ramp a little bit more just have some traffic. sound, doesn't it? There's six gear. No shakes, no shimmies. He's on the Brakes. he's on the anchors real hard there. No shakes or anything weird. Those Brembos are awesome. This car will, will I don't care what kind of a day you've had. This car will make you laugh and smile like a school girl. This is a great car. So here it is, EuropeanMotorsIowa.com if you have any questions. Hopefully we touched on most of the questions you guys may have in the video. Car runs and drives great, presents itself awesome. Uh, we got, you know, flaw. I, I, I tell them about the driver door, had a little... It does have just a little uh, paint touch up on the driver door. We talked about the bumper and another paint touch up on the bumper there. 
otherwise this car presents itself as new we got the little dash thing here we want you guys to know exactly what it is this car is probably going to go out of state we want you folks to be comfortable uh, with what the car is and we want you to be happy when the transport shows up we can deliver this anywhere in the united states for you guys for contactless uh, delivery um, so feel free to call us 319-393-8496 again 319-393-8496 EuropeanMotorsIowa.com. My name's Pete. Tommy's the uh, expert driver here, and uh, he can help you out as well. Thanks for watching, everybody.